international educational webinar about the uh, discussing what this technology can uh, offer you. So uh, welcome to everybody. And I'm going to uh, move to the next slide. So let me introduce myself. I'm uh, Dr. Renato Marini. I'm the medical and scientific director of the Skin Doctor Center in beautiful northern Italy, Trieste. Uh, um, I have uh, quite a lot of experience in the field of dermatologic and laser surgery. I wrote a lot and presented a lot all over the world. Uh, I'm the founder president of the European Society for Laser Dermatology and also a co-founder of uh, the European Society for Aesthetic and Cosmetic Dermatology, which I'm proud to serve even now as a treasurer. Uh, currently, I'm the chairman of the Task Force for Laser and Energy-Based Devices for the uh, European Academy of Dermatology. So let's move on to discuss Ellipse, the Candela company now. So Ellipse has been uh, on the market for many, many years, and the last treasure of uh, uh, this uh, fantastic Danish company is called Nordlis. Nordlis is a platform, very versatile platform. You can, it's a very uh, uh, compact, ergonomic, you can move wherever you want, it's a workhorse, and you can uh, use on the same platform a, a vast array of multiple dedicated SWT, which is means selective wavelength technology I, I, IPL handpieces. You can use a powerful 1064 long pulse laser, or you can use also a non ablative fractional 1550 erbium glass laser. So you are able to cover quite a lot uh, uh, of, uh, you know, problems in the dermatological fields. So summarizing, this nice piece of equipment here offer you advanced short and long pulse uh, <coughs> selective wavelength technology. I'm going to show, I'm going to discuss you with you what short wavelength uh, selective wavelength technology means in a few seconds extreme versatility of treatments, perfect ergonomic solution, and in a busy office, this is what you want. You want a compact system able to be moved in from room to room without you know, any complaint by the nurses because the system is too big or it's too heavy, unsurpassed technology reliability, and this is due to the fact that uh, uh, <coughs> Ellipse has been there in advanced research uh, in the field of intense pulse light since many, many, many years. And uh, they were able to muster the uh, spectral band delivery to the tissue. Smooth user platform interaction. This is another uh, uh, must for a system. If this interaction is good, you're going to use it. You're going to um, have fun in using. If the interaction is not, you know, it's quite complex, on, uh, and you are not able to get from the system easily what you want, then you're not going to use it very uh, often because you uh, kind of go where the system is or other system that's provided better interface, uh, in better user system interface. Fast and easy operational learning curve. This is very, very fast. And I can tell you that my nurses, they just love it. In one day, they were able to get uh, the system working with satisfaction. Let's move on another slide. So who was the inventor of this technology? This gentleman here, this is Shimon Eckhaus, who developed the first IPL in 1991. It was a brilliant idea in, in the area where, in an era with all, you know, laser <coughs> light treatment were based on lasers. So he said, ah, I can use a flash lamp, and I can use different spectra bands. And these are some of the original, you know, uh, working uh, uh, station uh, called Photoderm. Uh, at that time, the filtering was not very effective, and sometimes, you know, we got some side effects, and uh, the system sometimes work called Photoburn. So let's move on the next Next slide, and so let's talk about what a non-coherent intense polychromatic light consists of. It's a Xenon flash lamp. A Xenon flash lamp is like a, you know, the flash lamp you use 
as an example uh, from uh, with your camera so you have an emission simultaneous emission of multiple different wavelengths different photons strike you know the potential target at the same time uh, but in different array so you are able to provide a spectra band which is uh, going from 500 to 1000 nanometer and if you fire this is a free going is a free uh, delivery so but uh, this could be too much so we need to uh, filter we didn't we need to um, uh, limit the uh, number of photons we use in or according to the target we want to interact with so we move to the the next slide and I'm going to see, explain you what a single filter intense polychromatic uh, pulse system uh, uh, looks like so we have a sinus flash lamp we have the emission we have the possibility to work with filters that can move up and down according to the filter you're using and you're able to allow the pass through these filter only of selective selected um, photons all the others are blocked by the filter so if you are for example willing to treat um, um, darker skin type you want to limit the access to the skin of photons that are uh, very well absorbed by melanin so you use a filter to block this kind of photon and allow the all the other photons to go through so this is the principle of a single filter IPL system you are of course controlling just one spectral one end of the spectral emission and I'm going to show you in the next slide schematically what happens so we have a reflective surface here in the lamp we have the Xenos flash lamp the Xenos flash lamp fire and, and all these uh, represent different photons of different wavelengths they bounce back uh, <clears throat> from the uh, reflective surface they grow they go through the filters uh, to the filter some of them are trapped in the filter and all, all the rest go through the chill gel through the skin what happens in the dual filter intense polychromatic pulse system we have a primary cutoff filter we discussed before <clears throat> and then we have a secondary filter that's it's always able to cut the tail of the uh, intense pulse light emission so we are able to control much better the spectral band uh, you see uh, dimension if you allow me to say so and you are much more selective and much better uh, and you have a much better uh, intense pulse light tissue interaction so again we have a reflective surface we have a xenos flash lamp firing photons are you know reflected by this uh, surface and they are concentrated they are redirected down to the secondary optical filter and so we have the possibility to trap photons with a cutoff primary and cut and uh, block other photons from the secondary so you are restricting the spectral band which is uh, a nice advantage let's compare the two systems so this is a conventional intense pulse light you can see the uh, absorption by the major chromophores that you uh, and we can encounter in the skin so this is hemoglobin this is melanin and this is water this is a warning sign may it tells you that if you overheat if you give you know enough photons to heat water you are losing your selectivity so you are still able to use a conventional IPL but you at the same time you are warming water too much so you are you need to be very careful you can burn the patient in the selective wavelength technology provided by the lip scandela then you have a filter that pre that uh, prevent the photons which are widely absorbed by water to interact with water so you are able to concentrate in the spectral bands which are absolutely selective for the target you want to hit this is the a, uh, array of uh, multiple uh, hand pieces that you can operate with a uh, fantastic system of uh, ellipse candela 
So you can see we have a dual filtering system. We have the primary filter, the cut on the wavelength, which are below 645, and then we have a secondary filter, in this case, that blocks all the wavelength that goes beyond 950. So the spectra barrier working to remove hair from dark skin type is this one. So you're on the safe side. If you go for the photo rejuvenation and vascular lesion in a photo type 2, 3, 2, I'm sorry, 1, 2, then you can use this spectra band. So cutting 530 and cutting all the wavelength beyond 5, uh, 750, you concentrate your effects in this kind of uh, spectra band. Okay. <clears throat> Is uh, all the IPL... Uh, system available on the market the same? Yes, the technology, I mean, the, the flash lamp is there, but the technology which is able to control the emission is different. So, and this was a very interesting paper published some years ago by my friend Godfrey Town, 2007. He went not to the companies, he went to uh, visit the uh, clinics where the uh, IPL were installed and measured the emission of all the different uh, IPL systems, and he found out that the emission was quite different. So every system is different. You need to know your system. You need to select the best system for your practice. Again, uh, uh, concerning the safety, is the IPL system, is the IPL technology safe? According to this paper published recently uh, in Laser Medical Science, laser and intense pulse light association is uh, safe for we're concerning cancer lesions. So no worries about that. Now, what are the chromophores we uh, work with? Hemoglobins, which is a fast dynamic chromophore because hemoglobin is moving in the blood vessels and uh, it doesn't stay still. So it's a fast dynamic. The target is different from the uh, uh, chromophore. The target is a vessel wall and collagen. Uh, melanin is slow dynamic because uh, it's produced by melanocytes. So uh, we are de interacted with a mel melan uh, with a melanosome, melanocyte, and melanocytes. And of course, where are the melanosomes? In the keratinocytes. The melanosomes can be also in the melanocytes, the melanocytes themselves. And of course, in case we want to do the epilation, uh, uh, permanent hair reduction. We use the hair germinal cells as a, as a target, using the, um, the melanin as a, uh, a, tro a troy horse to capture our light. Water is homostatic because it's everywhere, so all cells contain water, and we are, our target is collagen. The exogenous pigment, homostatic, uh, the tattoo, microparticles, fibroblasts, monocytes, but uh, be careful. Don't treat tattoos with this technology, with the ellipse technology, because the pulse duration, even the wavelength is correct, is absorbed correctly, is too long. So the thermal damage you provide to these small uh, pigment uh, particles is too much. So you have a, a, the possibility to develop scars. So never treat tattoos with this technology. Using this uh, different system, NDAG, 1550, Erbium YAG, and IPL, you can use address vascular targets, pigmentary targets, structural dermal hypodermal targets through controlled phototermal coagulation, controlled phototermal destruction, and progressive phototermal remodeling. So we have all the tools to do what we want to obtain. Let's see some example with pigment specific targets. It goes without saying that the dark uh, skin responds different from light skin because dark skin contains much more melanosomes. And uh, so we need to use a filter which is uh, uh, cutting off uh, the, most of the wavelength which are absorbed superficially by the melanosomes. And so to be safe, we need to play with filters. We also can uh, play with the uh, energy and maybe the pulse duration. Light skin contains less melanosome, so much more transparent. You can practically go with any kind of wavelength through this kind of optical, uh, you know, favorable uh, penetration uh, of the uh, uh, skin type 1, 2. 
Uh, okay. This is a review article that tells you that we have highest level of ev evidence to treat lentiginous disease, melasma, poikiloderma, eschivat. But I, I like to warn you about melasma because even if you uh, treat melasma with intense false light, and let in this, according to this article, it's uh, the evidence is level 1B. Be careful because the melasma is not a static target. It's not a static, uh, uh, let's say, um, uh, issue. It may come back and you know, it will come back. So you need to use IPL with caution and, co and along with other kind of strategies. Saying the patient, we do our best to control what the melasma, not to treat and uh, raise the melasma forever. IPL irradiation rejuvenates the skin collagen via bidirectional regulation of matrix metalloproteinases, transforming growth factors beta and mitogen activated protein kinases. These are the, our target to, that uh, tells us that using this technology, we are able to rejuvenate the skin, to renovate the skin through production of new collagen. And this is a photorejuvenation image gently provided by uh, Suzanne Kilmer, and uh, you can see she used a, uh, you know, this is a phototype 1, 2 uh, patient, so she can tolerate this kind of spectral band going from 5.30 on, and these are the parameters, and you can see the clinical results after two treatment. Look at the porous reduction, look at the uniformity of the pigmentation. So this is an ideal treatment for rejuvenation. Epidermanosis, solenentigos, solar and tigers respond very well. There is an increased number of melanocytes in solar and tigers, so we can decrease the number of melanocytes with this technology. Isolated cafe au lait macule, uh, uh, can also respond well, but they tend to recur. So careful, not promise the patient a complete uh, removal. This is the typical end result of uh, a uh, solar and lentigo treated with the Q-switch nanosecond or picosecond laser. This is the uh, final result, but you can see that uh, uh, quite a heavy, uh, let's say, discoloration immediately after. And this discoloration, this inflammatory, uh, um, 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 let's say, complication usually lasts for four, five, seven days, and uh, patients are not that happy they need to be informed. You can use IPL in a different way. This is just using a small, uh, you know, um, <coughs> handpiece and small filter. You can uh, stack, you know, the uh, um, pulses one to on top of the other. And without having the uh, reaction you, uh, we share with you before, you can eliminate very gentle the uh, solar antigenous. Uh, I go, let's go on. So chromophore melanin, you can use the kind of spectral uh, band. This is a pre filter, uh, using also for the photodynamic treatment. This is for type 1, 2 uh, skin, and this is for darker skin type. You can really have the possibility to treat all the lesions with this. What happened uh, to uh, the typical um, lesions that we want to address, the pigmentary, like a solar indigenous? Immediately post treatment, they get darker. So you inform the patient because uh, we are uh, oxidizing the melanin. So, and then we have a peripheral heat diffusion. So besides get darker, they are a little bit redder at the periphery and a little bit swollen. So larger lesions accumulate and release more heat, so they are more swollen. So you need to tell this to the patient so they are happy to enjoy a uh, uneventful um, post-treatment uh, recovery time. Mild tingling sensation, which is due to the fact that the epidermal barrier has been kind of dis disturbed for 30 minutes to one hour. So this is a pretty normal event, series of events after this. And you can see this is a nice series of pictures provided by my friend Peter Bering. You can see the oxidation of the uh, uh, melanin on the surface due to the IPL. Okay? So no worries. This is normal, you know, uh, sign. This is dermatosis chrono-aging. You can see this is IPL photofacial treatments. Just IPL. Nice results with this. 
In case you want to be faster, you can use photopeel, which is uh, the combination of intense pulse light and uh, immediately after a TCA, very low concentration TCA, 15%. This is the nice result we were able to obtain after two sessions. And this is the typical sequence of events. This is preparation, even if uh, we said that IPL is kind of safe, we prefer to protect visible moles with a white sticker and we show this to the patient that's uh, uh, this is for medical legal uh, you know reasons they they understand we care and we are cautious then we this is immediately post uh, uh, IPN this is immediately post 15 percent TCA you can see the white uh, the white is frosting and this is 60 days post treatment one session so nice combination treatment with IPN another case Another case, another case. Of course, uh, when we deal with uh, different anatomic areas, the healing time is different. The face heals faster than the decollete. So you need to discuss with patients. The results are the same. Nice results after photo peel on the hands. Fantastic results. And even with type, you can see these are hands uh, we were treated with the photo peel. And this is after two years, look at the quality of the skin, and we were able to keep the situation quite under control. So melasma, okay, these are fantastic results due to the combination of IPL, followed by the new uh, system in uh, bleaching cream provided and produced in Switzerland. We got a fantastic, this is not hydroquinone base is not toxic to the cells and we were able to get this fantastic result with the combination of the two technologies. Histotin's hypertrichosis, fantastic result with the proper uh, filter. And one more thing, it's a fast technique because the recharging of the capacitors of the new system of the uh, Norlis is very fast. So a treatment like this can uh, last few minutes. So and it's very effective. Let's go on. Vascular specific target. In this case, in rosacea patients or uh, essential transjectasia, I prefer to use the 1064 to do the vessel hunting. You can always, uh, on top of that, in the same session, use the IPL to do the finishing. And you have this, this is a rosacea patient that suffer from uh, telangiectatic, uh, uh, you know, matting and uh, capillary uh, venular dilation. The first pass is long pulse 1064. Then we do this, uh, the following pass with, uh, with the vascular uh, uh, pulse, um, uh, the vascular filter uh, IPL. And this is the end result. And uh, you can see after one session, you can see, look at the quality of the skin after this uh, combined session. Another case. And in patients, that uh, male patient particularly, and also in some female patients, if they start suffering from uh, uh, a femurous reaction in the nose, we also provide low-dose oral isotretinoin. When I talk about uh, low-dose oral isotretinoin, I'm talking about homeopathic dose, 20 milligrams per week, 20 milligrams twice a week maximum. And this combination of IPL and this uh, uh, low dose isotretinoin work wonders for a rosacea patient. Another case. Other cases. Acne. A fantastic treatment for acne. In case we have uh, uh, acne, which are patients with a lot of uh, um, uh, protoporphyrin 9 fluorescence, natural fluorescence in the sebaceous glands, and we can measure with a fluoroscope before the treatment, we use this kind of spectrum band, which is 400 to 720. I call this a natural PDT pass, followed by a vascular pass and a TCA. Why I use the vascular pass? Because every time we do the first pass with something, the skin is not the same. The skin is a little bit inflamed, so we have a little vasodilation. So the skin is different after the first pass. We have more, let's say, uh, hemoglobin pigments, uh, and we use this kind of spectra band to take maximum advantage of the thermal effects uh, um, of this spectra band on the uh, 
um, dermal layers. Another, another case, acne photopill session, fantastic result the, uh, about this combination. Keratosis pilaris rubra face, it's difficult, difficult. We can combine tank 64 and uh, uh, um, pulse dye laser and IPL, and we got fantastic results. Now, with the short pulse provided by the uh, new Nordlist, which is 0 0.4, 0 0.5 millisecond, the, you don't need the 595 PDL anymore. You can use the short pulse. Uh, 0 0.5 milliseconds or 1.5 milliseconds uh, uh, providing the same results. Resistant pulling stain, uh, we uh, use this as a patient that came to our attention after 13 non-specified uh, uh, laser procedure in Romania. Uh, you can imagine the uh, how the patient live her life with this kind of uh, defect on the face, so she asked for help. So we did a combination treatment using NDIAG uh, for blebs. Then we used a 595 pulse dye laser. Then we used a, a, the 1550 non fractional and erbium YAG or a CO2 fractional in the same session. This is a fantastic, uh, really uh, fun, uh, fantastic results. Skin remodeling. Look at the skin remodeling you can obtain with this. 30 days post up using a combination of uh, non ablative fractional resurfacing and, of course, the IPL and chemical peel. When it comes to acne scars, my technique is, and these are difficult areas because the skin is very thin, uh, we use a subcision to lift up the uh, skin. We use a subdermal uh, um, hyaluronic acid immediately after as a bio booster. Bio booster and we use the 1550 to remodel the skin after that. And this is the, final, the end result you can obtain. Okay, uh, let's go on. This is the sequence. No block, infiltration anesthesia, subcision with 18 gauge knuckle needle. Then, then of course, we, do, uh, we eliminate the bleeding and we control the bleeding. Then we immediately use the 1550 erbium glass to stimulate the collagen on top. And then we inject the filler, uh, subdermal distribution filler, as a bio booster. Stretch marks combination treatment, fantastic. 1064 to warm the skin, then uh, 1550 to, uh, uh, re um, let's say, remodel the skin and produce new collagen and light chemical peel. This is what we can obtain with this kind of uh, results, with this kind of combination. Post traumatic hypertrophic scars are excellent. You, you can use the 0 0.5, 1.5 uh, vascular uh, um, hem piece of uh, the IPL, similar to what we used to use uh, uh, to, uh, um, to, to select uh, the, uh, when we were using the pulse dilator and followed by the 1550 nanometer non-ablative non fractional. And this is what you can obtain. So in conclusion, Present trend among patients willing to improve their cosmetic aspect confirms their propensity towards less invasive, less painful, preferably short downtime procedure. Future forecast do confirm a further increase in patient demand for more gentle yet clinically effective procedure. non ablative lasers and IPL are really at the forefront of technical advances aiming at meeting patients' desire and expectations and through the technology provided by, provided by Nordlis, uh, Nordlis, you are going to be really on the forefront. Later in IPM population, along with innovative combination strategy, as we discussed before in my presentation, seems to be the most successful strategy for the next decades. And with this, I conclude, and I thank you for your kind attention, and thank you for joining the Ellipse Candela uh, educational webinar. Thank you.